Hello, I am Aaron Sutherland, and I am a SUSE certified instructor. In this video, I would like to show you the different learning paths we have available on our e-learning site. With more than a dozen learning paths available to meet your educational needs, we have topics such as HA, SAP, SUSE Manager, and more. To get started, we log into the e-learning site and navigate to the content library. Once on the content library page, you select the box for learning paths. The list on the right shows all the different learning paths that are currently available. We can narrow down the list by selecting one of the filters in the topics section. Here, when I select the topic, we can see the number of learning paths available for the topic. Let's take a look at each of the topics to see what the contents of each learning path look like. Here, I click on the topic SLES for SAP Applications. This shows me that there are four learning paths available. When I click on the title of the learning path, SLE 201, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server Administration 15, we see a list of modules that include topics such as the overview of SUSE Linux Enterprise, the Linux file system, working with the command line, the Vim editor, remote administration, system initialization, process management, identity and security, software management, network management, storage administration, administration and monitoring, and then at the bottom of the page, our course manuals. So now let's take a look at one of the videos. So in this topic, we're going to have a look at managing software repositories and libzip. So libzip is a wrapper around the RPM system. And the RPM system, one of the things it does is going to go and um, install the packages and um, place the files in the correct place, run any pre-installation scripts, and run any post-installation scripts. That is just a small sample of the content available in this learning path. Now, let's go back and take a look at another learning path. So I navigate back to the content library screen. We make sure that our content type filter has been set. Select our topic. And then we can see once again that we have four learning paths available. Here, when I click on SLES for SAP Applications HA Deployment and Configuration, we can see a list of all the modules that are available as part of the learning path. So we have the Information Resources, Deploying SLES for SAP Applications, SLES for SAP Applications Overview, SLES for SAP Applications HA, Tuning and Securing SLES for SAP Applications HA, and the overview of SLES for SAP applications in the cloud. And at the bottom, of course, we have our course materials. In this topic, we'll have a look at the installation workflow. So let's have a look at an overview of the SLES for SAP Applications SAP Installation Wizard Workflow. That's quite a lot to say, isn't it? So first of all, we've got the YAST SAP Installation Wizard Part 1, where we copy the required SAP media. So that's either copied to a local disk or... And now we'll go back to our content library and look at some of the other learning paths that are available. Now we'll take a look at the SLES for SAP Applications Deploying and Configuring NetWeaver with HA. Click on the title of the learning path, and here we have all the different modules. So we've got the overview of SAP NetWeaver, 
deploying NetWeaver on SLES for SAP Applications, HA, common cluster administration tasks, tuning SLES for, for SAP Applications on host NetWeaver, and our course manuals. Install NetWeaver. So now what we'll do is we'll have a look at installing the ASCS and ERS instances. So we've done everything we need to do. We've got the file systems mounted and we've got the users and groups created locally and we've added entries for the virtual IP addresses that will be cluster controlled. So deploying the ASCS and ERS instances is covered in the SAP documentation. And again, that is just a small sample of the content available in this learning path. So now we're going to go back to our content library. And we will continue on looking at the next learning path. The final learning path here for SLES for SAP applications is deploying SAP HANA SR scale up on SLES for SAP applications. Click on the title and I can see all the different modules that are included. We have the introduction to SAP HANA, the native SAP HANA high availability solutions, preparing to deploy SAP HANA SR, installing SAP HANA 2.0 scale up, configuring SAP HANA system replication, deploying and configuring SLES for SAP applications to meet host SAP HANA SR with high availability, design and perform cluster tests, monitoring and administering the HA solution, tuning SLES for SAP applications to host SAP HANA scale up with HA and our course documentation. Global cluster configuration. Let's start with best practice for fencing. So SUSE's best practice for fencing is to use SBD. The second choice would be IPMI and if you remember IPMI stands for Intelligent Platform Management Interface. SLEHA does support other fencing mechanisms but SBD is the first choice. And that is it for the different learning paths that are available for SLES for SAP applications. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please feel free to reach out should you have any questions. Thank you and have a great day.